project, you're going to need some Mod Podge, and I suggest the thicker the better. You can always water it down, but for this first process, you need a nice thick coat. So just spread it on one surface at a time, and then take your beads and sprinkle them on the glue surface. Make sure that you cover the entire area, and just press down with a clean, dry hand. The beads I used were just sort of a mishmash of old stuff that I had in my craft box, but I think all black would look real nice. So just continue on to do the rest of the case and do small areas of glue at a time just so your glue doesn't dry first. If you miss any spots, we're going to go back and fill them in later. Make sure that you get a generous amount on all the corners and the edges. Once you're done, you're going to let it dry overnight. The next day, you're going to water down your Mod Podge so it has this consistency. And then you're going to go over your entire clutch. You actually have to do this process twice. So do it once, let it dry overnight, and do it again the next day. You don't want your beads falling all over the place when you're at a party or an event. So you have to make sure they're stuck down really tight. So this is the finished coat, and we're just going to let this dry completely. If you notice any gaps, now would be a good time to go in and add a few more beads. We're going to use a little piece of fabric or elastic to attach our chain. I'm using some E600 or you can use some super glue or fabric glue and just make a little loop. We're going to take this loop and we're going to glue it into the side of our case. Make sure the end of the loop is sticking out. Next we'll take the chain. This is some that I got off of a chain belt and I just reworked it to make a handle. And just put that jump ring through the little loop that you've made. Now with E600, you have to press it in place for quite a while and let it dry. Once you think it's sturdy enough, you can close your case. We're just going to add our embellishments now that are supposed to look like a clasp. I just took two jump rings off the belt and I'm just adding a little bit of E6000 to them. I'm gonna put one on the top part and one on the bottom. Make sure that you let your glue dry completely or else your pieces are going to fall off. This is what our finished product looks like. And this sunglasses case is big enough so you can fit your phone in here, your lip gloss, your money, your credit cards, whatever you need for a good night. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video and have a great day.